Hey there everybody, it's Zach and thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at a simple DIY uh, way to create a flashlight that is red. So if you're like me, you know, you like astronomy, you, you wanna read your star maps out there in the dark, you know, you don't wanna use traditional white light. Now you could always buy, you know, a flashlight or headlamp that does red, but they're not always the cheapest or if you don't do it that often, maybe it's not the most ideal and practical for you. So there is a super simple method. I'm getting ready to show you guys that. But a real quick um, reason of why we want to use red light is because white light, it takes about 20 minutes or so for our eyes to get adjusted to night vision for us to be able to see um, in the dark. But red light actually does not affect that. So that's why you want to use that. So let's get started. Okay, folks, so what we want to do is basically I want to turn my um, mini mag light here, you know, white light, standard white LED into a red light. And the way we're going to do that is, in my case here at the time of filming this, it's a couple of days after Valentine's. So, you know, a lot of Valentine's candy will come wrapped in red plastic. This red plastic don't throw it away. It is great for so many uses, including this. So basically, what you want to make sure, you want to make sure that you can see through it. You can see my fingers, so you know it's it's um, transparent. It's not a cloudy, it, it's a clear, and it's red. So that's what, and you can even see the red reflecting down here. So you know, you know it's going to be red. So what we want to do now is we want to take and cut off um, you know, what we need now, of course, this is the small keychain version, so we don't really need much. But I would say, you know, go up maybe a half inch, inch on the side. So, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can cut it in a square, you can cut it in whatever shape you want as long as it fits over. And you will also need a rubber band. That's how we're going to attach it. So I'm going to cut this out, and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do and how we're going to attach it. Okay, folks, so I have cut out my piece of red plastic here. I have my flashlight here, and I have my rubber band. So now, only thing you want to do is just cover your lens just like that and try to make it as smooth as possible and then place the rubber band around it. Okay, here you guys go. I had to stop the video. I do apologize. I, I'm trying to hold my phone. I couldn't find my tripod. And um, I just put the rubber band around there. There's the light right there. And then I can simply twist on. And now I have a red light. So now I can look at my sky maps or, or whatever I need without losing my night vision. Now, if you cannot find the red um, plastic that comes off of Valentine's Day candy, what you can always do is they do make uh, red cling wrap. You usually see it around um, Christmas or so. Hey, you look a little beetle. Uh, anyhow, he's, uh, he's checking out the red light. Um, anyhow, you can also get a um, stage um, red filter for stage lighting. You can easily pick those up at a music shop or something. I'm going to have some links in the description below. You can do that. But what you would have to do with that is you would have to cut to the size of your actual lens and then uh, place that on the inside to make it a more permanent, um, uh, permanent install. And you can also do the same thing with this red plastic. You know, if you really want to get um, detailed, you can just Go in there, cut out a little circle, put it in there, and you are good to go. Well, there you guys have it. A simple DIY red light. It won't cost you that much, especially, you know, if you were given a box of candy. And, um, yeah, so there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And also, too, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and um, hit that little bell so you get notifications of the next time I post a video. See you later, guys. Take care.